Hello everybody, this is Fred with One or CCTV, and we are going to do a quick video on the IVMS software, um, the client software for a desktop for the Hikvision uh, NVRs and DVRs. Uh, we have a lot of clients that have um, older software on their PCs, um, and after a while, through the firmware upgrade process, um, the newer firmware in the recorders um, don't match the, uh, it doesn't match the older IBMS versions and we have encoding issues, remote playback issues, just all kinds of issues. Um, so, so this is how we fix that. Um, we've had videos posted in the past. Um, there are some on this YouTube channel in the security camera series um, that will show you how to upgrade the firmware on your recorder. Okay, you want to make sure, first of all, that your recorder has the latest version of firmware. But you also want to make sure to go with that, hand in hand, that you have the latest version of IVMS. Um, because they will update it um, from time to time to work out the bugs. So just go to Hikvision's website. You can Google Hikvision. Um, and you'll see their website right here, ushikvision.com. Uh, go to the Support and Resources tab. We want to click Downloads, and at the bottom, right here, Client Software. Um, when you're into the Client Software section, you'll see that there um, are two downloads, one for Windows and one for Mac. We have a Windows computer, um, so we're going to download that. And we are also going to come over here where it says Download. And you'll see the software. The latest version is 3.5.0.4. Okay, so we're going to head and click on that. Um, you will see the file downloads. It's an executable file. It should be at the bottom left portion of your screen here. When it's done, it will say open file. Um, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Uh, we're going to agree to the terms and conditions here. Um, right here, it's going to give you a, a bunch of options in the installation wizard. Um, really, all you need is video. Um, Hikvision has access control, time and attendance, EMAPs. Um, you know, if, if you're just watching your security cameras with the software, you only need to video download. So unclick the rest of that junk because um, you don't need it on your install. We'll hit install, um, and it will start downloading the prop, the program, right? This guy's taking a little bit today. Okay, installation complete. Um, we want to create a desktop icon and we also want to launch launch the client at this time if for some reason you did not want a desktop icon you could unclick that so we'll finish her up here we do want this to launch so we'll go ahead and hit finish here and the program will open up for us the first time this populates it may take a few seconds that's uh, not abnormal um, sometimes if the operating system in the PC is a little bit slower, um, you know, it might take even longer. Um, after enabling this upgrade detection function, when there is a new version of the client available, you receive notification that you can experience um, with the new features and improvements. So this is a new feature with the IBMS as a result of the problems we've had in the past. So they're going to automatically let you know when there are upgrades to the IBMS, and we definitely want that. So this login is also confusing to a lot of people. It's asking for a super username and password. This is not the username and password of your recorder. This has nothing to do with your recorder or your cameras. This is a username and password specifically for this icon, for this program that we just downloaded. In other words, um, if you do not click auto login, if someone were to click on this icon on your desktop, it's going to prompt for this username and password to get into the IBMS program. Uh, it's very confusing. To keep things easy, however, I do use the same password 
as I do with my cameras. Um, that way, if auto login ever gets disabled or if it gets locked by accident, um, I'll remember what it is, right? Of course, they don't match, right? Don't be like me, click ones that are the same. So, um, password protection, that's when you pick three questions in case you do forget your password, um, so you can get back in. So you can pick your mother's first name. Um, you can pick your favorite teacher's name. Who influences you most? So anyway, you can pick those questions and in the event you forget that password, or if you get locked out and can't get back in, um, you can answer that set of security questions, get back into IVMS. This is also a new feature with this new IVMS because people were locking themselves out. So there's some good upgrades. Once you're in here, right, you can log into your account. Um, if you have a HIK Connect account um, and you use that to log into your system, just hit log in here or in the USA. Um, we'll enter HIK Connect and it is going to give you um, a place to enter your HIK Connect username and password. Uh, once you do that, you will be in and ready to use the IBMS. Um, if you are confused or need uh, a little bit of training on how to use IBMS, now that we've installed it, um, you'll see that video as well on our YouTube channel. So hopefully this was informative uh, to you. Um, key points, make sure you keep the firmware on your recorder uh, up to date. Check at least twice a year um, for firmware upgrades and make sure that recorder stays up to date and safe. Everybody knows this hex version stuff is made in China. Um, the government is on them. Compliance is on them to keep this stuff secure. If they want to sell it in the States, in the states. so there's continual upgrades um, to make them safer and uh, more efficient. Um, so make sure the recorder firmware is upgraded. And also pay attention to this auto update that we've installed here. And it will tell you when this IBMS needs to upgrade to match that latest firmware. It's a two-part process, the recorder and this IBMS program on your desktop. We want to keep those up to date. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, so you're updated when we post new videos like this. Um, and we will see you in the field.